Work and legacy of Jamaicans must be saved and highlighted. Words from Prime Minister Andrew Honus as he officially opened the Cecil Cooper Foundation on Friday at the Olympia Gallery in St. Andrew. In our 60th year of independence, it is important that we honor our icons in all fields and that our children know of them and are inspired by them. Cecil is one of our Jamaican icons that we must at all times honor and celebrate. I take note of the admonitions made that the government of Jamaica should spend more on art, that the pursuit of art can have positive social impacts. And I would like to point out, it may not be widely known, that in our pursuit of security, and indeed in the use of the national security budget, the Minister of Security reminded me that last year we spent significant resources on the youth orchestra, um, funding students to learn classical music uh, in downtown Kingston. And I believe it may very well be, Minister, a program that we will have to expand nationally. Cecil Cooper was a renowned and accomplished painter artist and educator who began his career as a fine artist and exhibitor in galleries in New York, United States. After his return to Jamaica in 1980, he later headed the painting department at his alma mater, the then Jamaica School of Art, now Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts. Also speaking at the launch was the chairman of the foundation and wife of Cecil Cooper, Rose Bennett Cooper. She notes that one of the most important things that mattered to him was his students. Cecil, as a teacher at the Edna Manley College, by a different name at that time, was so invested in his students that he had a habit of saying to his friends, I have a student, you know, who they're doing very good work. Why don't you come and have a look? But beware, because when you go to have a look, you are not going to leave without having spent some money. And the reason why Cecil did this is to make sure that his students, when they faltered, when they were low on funds, that there was a way that he could have his friends, those that he knew, invest in them. Fast forward, Cecil retires. And upon retiring, one of the things he mentioned very often is that he would love to have some kind of scholarship in place, something in place, so that the students could continue to benefit from that. And that, in a sense, is the thread, the germ of the idea for the scholarship uh, fund that we are establishing in Cecil's name. Those who were in attendance were treated to a video tribute of Cecil's life, a dance piece and music from the Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts. Patron of the event, Juliet Holness, says that associating with this foundation was a no-brainer. It is so important, the visual and performing arts. And because of my own love for Cecil, I knew it was important to be a part of anything that would keep and memorialize the work, the excellent work of this fabulous, amazing, patriotic, and extremely talented Jamaican. When I looked around, we often have so many foundations that are near and dear to my own heart in terms of education, but very few that think about the arts. And so tonight, we are doing three things because Rose doesn't allow the team to focus on only a few things. The foundation and exhibition were launched on his birthday, June 17.